Good evening. My name is Eugene Ford, and I am the proud principal of Indian Ridge School. On the behalf of our students, faculty, and staff, we would like to welcome you to our 2020 virtual gradu graduation ceremony. I am so happy to share this exciting time with you as I present our graduating seniors. I would like to thank each of our families, our friends, and our guests for joining us today as we recognize the outstanding accomplishment of each of our graduates. Although we are practicing social distancing for the sake of keeping the community safe from the coronavirus, we have planned a special ceremony for our graduates who have worked very hard to accomplish this milestone. We are excited to see those of you who have joined us virtually to help us celebrate this rite of passage of our seniors from adolescent to adulthood. The good thing about our virtual ceremony is our guests can sit back, relax, and enjoy from the safety of their homes. Again, thank you for joining us today, and let the celebration begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you? Hello, and congratulations to the high school class of 2020. You did it. Own it. Be proud of it. You are a graduate of the A-rated school district of Palm Beach County, and that says a lot about you. And while we're passing around virtual high fives, let's reach out to your family and friends who are joining us from your home, online, or on TV this evening as we mark this milestone in your amazing academic career. They played a very big role in your success, and we applaud them. Seniors, although we are physically separated this evening, make no mistake, we are united in our admiration for your success. Class of 2020, let's get real. How remarkable and ironic it is that you devoted the last 13 years of your life to education, while some of the most poignant and everlasting lessons you have learned occurred over the past two months, during the final stretch of your high school career. The district's theme heading into the new year was 2020 vision. Now that's ironic. 2020 vision? Nobody saw this reality coming. A pandemic named Corona, or translated crown, because of the way the virus appears under a microscope, changed life as we knew it. It may look like a crown, but let me tell you, it's been a royal pain. So let's reflect for a few minutes. 
For 13 years, you learned vocabulary. But again, some of the most memorable words or phrases you will never forget, you learned over the last two months. For starters, social distancing. As a society, we thrive on camaraderie, collaboration, and community. Think about that. The things you probably took for granted two months ago are now more important than ever to you. Being in a physical classroom on your campus with your teachers, classmates and friends, sitting side by side, the loving hug of a grandparent that is just too risky to share right now, going to the beach or the mall, spending birthdays together, or here's a big one, celebrating your graduation. Distance learning. If someone had said to you that you would be spending the last two months of high school in a Google Classroom, full time from home, maybe even in your pajamas, you would have thought they were crazy. But that's exactly what you did. You and your teachers pivoted with remarkable dexterity and efficiency and just made it work. Essential workers, that includes our medical heroes and also the many other brave souls who didn't have the luxury of staying home. The people who we depend on day in and day out to stock our grocery store shelves, to deliver food and prescriptions, to serve the more than two million free meals that the school district of Palm Beach County has distributed to students since our schools closed on March 13th. Okay, in some cases, our heroes do wear capes. You, our esteemed graduates, are also essential. You are essential to your families, to your friends, and to the future of our country. You may feel isolated and frustrated right now, and that is understandable. But I also hope that you take great comfort in knowing that we are all in this together. Your lives will be forever influenced and many decisions shaped by this unprecedented global fight against coronavirus. These are not times to forget. Years from now, when you reflect, this just won't be a frightening time of inconvenience and uncertainty. You will view this as a challenge that you conquered. It's made you stronger, resilient. It's taught you the importance of fraternity, family, and friends. This collective disappointment that you and the entire global class of 2020 is experiencing is valid. You missed out on all of those rituals and traditions that many graduates before you probably took for granted. But I also believe that this current state may very well end up being your most profound catalyst for accomplishing great things. A springboard to your future success and how your journey will leave permanent footprints and impact future generations. You have the power to make sure that your children and grandchildren never experience anything like this. In the class of 2020, we have future doctors, nurses, scientists, and mathematicians who may very well develop the solution to eliminating future pandemics, or at the very least, make our world more fundamentally prepared for the unexpected. We have future business leaders and lawmakers who will demand more efficiency and oversight. You have future bankers and stockbrokers who will work amid a new economic and financial order. We have future educators who will teach in a whole new way while also reminding generations of students of their potential. They will deliver that lesson from the wisdom of knowing tough times and the experience that comes from adapting and rising to a challenge. I encourage you to channel any negative thoughts and use them as a source for motivation to set personal goals. Stay on course and use the redefined 2020 vision to be laser focused on discovering what will make you feel fulfilled, accomplished, and appreciated. If you believe in yourself, if you remain true to yourself, continue to educate yourself, you'll have everything you need to find the right path for you. Many of you are now the first in your family to graduate high school. That's fantastic. Your parents are beaming with pride. Every parent and guardian wants their child to have a better life than they had. You are proving today that is possible. Despite what the news and the headlines and what the social media might tell you, the future is bright. I know that it is bright because I know you. This class, the class of 2020, has already had a profound impact on your community. Your principals, teachers, and I were humbled by your altruism as you supported the people of the Bahamas who were devastated by Hurricane Dorian. You sent supplies, equipment, and money. You've cooked up and provided meals for the elderly over the holidays. You've created programs such as We Dine Together, 
to ensure that no student sits alone in the cafeteria or courtyard during lunch. You send a contingent of students to Tallahassee to lobby elected officials for additional support regarding mental health for students and staff, not of concern for yourself, but out of concern for your peers. For these reasons and countless others, I know the future is bright. You are the sum of all of the great things that you have done, that you are doing, and that you will do. Walk with your head up and your shoulders back. Be proud of who you are and where you come from. Since becoming superintendent, I've looked forward to shaking the hand of every graduate who crosses the stage. That's about 14,000 hands each year. I regret that I won't be able to take part in that annual tradition. But please know that I look forward to the day when our paths cross and I congratulate you in person. No matter where your journey takes you after high school, and may that journey be extraordinary, my hope is that you will return to our community with your hard-won wisdom and play an instrumental role in our future growth. You will be welcomed with open arms. In Palm Beach County, we always leave the light on so you can find your way home. I want you to stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay strong. You are the class of 2020. Congratulations to each of you seniors. You're part of history. Never before have we had an experience as unique as this. And the uniqueness of this experience has given you the opportunity to be a leader. This is your chance to make your mark on the world. From this day forward, move on. Move forward and work to make sure that you never give up, you never say I can't, and you always realize how valuable this experience has been. Thank you very much. Congratulations again, all of our seniors. Hi, my name is Maria Bedal. I would like to thank the teachers, staff, students, and parents who made my high school experience as great as it was. David Brooks once said, you know that uncertainty you feel today? It never goes away. The question is, do you know how to make uncertainty your friend? This suspicion of what the next step will be for each one of us will continue to follow our every move. But if we can adjust to this uncertainty, we are assured to be successful in each decision we make because success is truly measured by the struggles we face and the courage you combat those same struggles with. I've had my share of obstacles. I've attended three different high schools in three years. Over time, I've become more resilient. In fact, I'm even able to graduate a year early. Like a sponge, I was able to absorb a lot from the staff at Indian Ridge, and I will keep these experiences and lessons with me throughout life. I had to read an article from Ms. Pyfum's class. The article is called, Want to Get into College? Learn to Fail. This article was written by Angel B. Perez. Something I read in the text has really stuck with me. It says, I learned to let go of shame, he said. I realized that I can't let a grade define my success. I also learned that if you want anything bad enough, you can achieve it. That is my advice for my fellow and future graduates. Do not be ashamed of your failures. Do not let a grade nor any labels define you. Be determined to achieve what you want and you will. I'm going to college to pursue my career of choice. Let me reiterate that, of choice. Life is full of choices, this or that, that or this. Each decision we make will shape our future. You will not be able to go back in time and change your mistakes, but you can choose to continue forward. No matter what decisions you make, you will always end up on top. As Miley Cyrus once said, life's a climb, but the view is great. Graduates, the door is open for us now. The world is at our feet. Join me in beginning our individual climbs. Good morning, students, parents, and staff of Indian Ridge School and Palm Beach County School District. My name is Kaylee Kelhofer, and I would like to thank all of you, our honored guests, for coming, as well as Superintendent Dr. Donald Fenoy, Mr. Ford, Mrs. Wood, and Indian Ridge staff for putting this all together and making this happen. As everyone knows, today is the day, the day our parents dreamed about since before we were even born, the day we all started working towards at just five years old the day said to send us off into the rest of our lives. But here you are watching this through a screen and here I am giving this speech into a camera instead of my family and friends. Not exactly what we pictured to say the least. 
Some may say none of this matters, that we all should just be glad to graduate and be proud of ourselves. Now don't get me wrong, I'm over the moon about finally making it here. I can't say I was always confident in this day even coming for me. But it has. I've worked hard to get here. I've bounced back and forth between different schools, programs, diploma tracks, and GED options. I was labeled as just another unmanageable case. Too much for any typical school to handle. As Albert Einstein once said, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. This is how I felt. I was the fish and the education system was the tree pointing and laughing as I struggled to conquer it. After three years of high school, I was offered a helping branch, Indian Ridge School. I started at Indian Ridge with just two months left in my junior year. I was immediately met with a feeling I've never felt in all my years of school, a feeling of acceptance and warmth, somewhere I could be safe from the world while I learned how to be safe from myself. I was assigned a therapist I felt comfortable with and could openly talk to. I was put in classes with four or five kids and supportive teachers and staff. I was no longer seen as a number. I was seen as a person with a story and needs of my own, apart from the other 100,000 students in Palm Beach County School. I'm here on all of your screens because of Indian Ridge and the support that I received there. I stand here with determination in my eyes and this hat on my head, ready to embark on the journey into the rest of my life. I walk away from this experience with the knowledge and skills needed to succeed in life and conquer the world. Thank you again to Indian Ridge School. I wish my fellow class of 2020 the best of luck and I leave you all with this quote by Vivian Green. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning to dance in the rain. It is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Marietta Merced, our graduation speaker. Marietta attended Indian Ridge School 10 years ago. Before coming to Indian Ridge School, she struggled with the emotional behavior disorder, but overcame this disability by the help from her family and the support system from Indian Ridge School. She attended Florida Atlantic University, where she earned a bachelor's degree in exceptional student education. She is a teacher at Choley Lake Elementary and enjoyed working with her ESC students. Her passion is helping her students excel while dealing with the hardships of life. Marietta's message to our graduates today is to keep moving forward and to do your best no matter what obstacles are in your way. Without further ado, I give you Ms. Marietta Merced. Hello everyone. I am very pleased to be speaking to you today on behalf of the Indian Ridge School graduates. I hope that you feel as excited as I am to be part of this great moment. I would like to draw your attention for a few minutes to share my experiences and what has really helped me become the person I am today. I hope my words can inspire you to accomplish your dreams. Ten years ago, I was placed in Indian Ridge because of my continuous struggle with controlling my emotions and outbursts. I was struggling just like all of you. I was depressed and felt like I had no control over my life. High school felt long, schoolwork felt tedious, and life just did not ha seem important to me anymore. I cannot tell you how long I felt like this, but it was not until I started Indian Ridge that my mindset changed. It did not happen right away, but with the help of my support system, I was able to cope better and feel happy once again. I will always remember Indian Ridge. The school staff and their dedication to their students is what made it such a wholesome experience. Every problem I have overcome has been because someone has been there to help me. My support net ranges from my parents to my friends to my teachers, depending on the kind of trouble I have had and its severity. This is not to say I had been a troublemaker. I was mostly a quiet student, and a lot of help has been needed to get me through at times. This is where Indian Ridge truly excels. The teachers here want to know you. They want to help you succeed. Some teachers who you may know here in the school were still part of my life 10 years ago. For example, Mrs. Birch brought out the creativity in me that I was afraid to release into the world. Dr. Petrillo always had high expectations for me and knew that I was a smart student who was capable of anything. 
Miss Irene was always watching to make sure that I was doing the right thing and gave me advice when I needed it. I would not be able to leave Indian Ridge without these amazing individuals, and I'm sure you can all agree. By using the skills and info I picked up here, controlling myself felt easier. When I saw myself going down that route again, I remind myself of the people who I need the most. It all comes down to help, and I have got a plenty of people to thank for that. Parents, teachers, friends. I guess that means the biggest thing I learned is to lean on others when needed. There's another more important side to their idea as well, and it's the one piece of advice I like to give you as we get ready to cross the stage for the last time. Make sure you're around when other people need to someone to lean on. They will thank you for it. Be well, stay safe, and congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations, graduates. I hope you guys are not wearing your pajamas under your caps and gowns. But hey, if you are, that's another benefit of a virtual graduation ceremony. First, I would like to take a moment to thank our faculty and staff and my administrative staff, Ms. Sharon Wood and Ms. Ruth Ann Musgrove for their commitment to making Indian Ridge a caring and compassionate learning environment that support the individual needs of our students. Students, this is a very special day. One I am sure that you have been anticipating for a very long time. It marks an important moment in your life reflecting upon what you have accomplished in the past and look forward to the future. Now that you've mastered our behavior system and started transitioning into adulthood, I hope that you remember the life lessons that your family therapist gave you in your individual sessions, the academic lessons that your teachers and paraprofessionals gave you in the classroom, and the behavior lessons instilled in you by our behavior team. As you transition through life, apply the Indian Ridge Schools team system. Training is represented by T in team. When you find yourself in a training phase, be prepared to learn as much as you can about the subject. Use that time to acquire new knowledge and develop new skills that will make you more efficient at whatever you do to aspire to master it. Before I leave you, I would like to share this poem by Douglas Moloch titled, Be the Best at whatever you are. If you can't be a pine on top of the hill, be a scrub in the valley, but be. Be the best little scrub on side of the reel. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a bush, be a bit of a grass, and some highway happier make. If you can't be a muskie, then just be a bass, but be the happiest bass in the lake. We can't all be captains, some must be crew. There is something for all of us here. There's big work to do, there's lesser work to do, and the task must we do is near. If you can't be a highway, then just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. It isn't by size that we win or we fail. Be the best of whatever you are. I love this poem because it reminds me of our position in life that doesn't make us more or less valuable. When we measure our success by the world's standards, we may feel though we have fallen short. But I want you to remember that true success is measured by being the best of whatever you are. Class of 2020, my hope is that you all be the best that you can be. Mariah Badal, Arnisha Butler, Jade Smith, Kaylee Kelhoffer, Mia Rodriguez, Louis Sosa, Israel Torres. Seniors, please stand. 
At this time, it is my pleasure to present the Indian Ridge School Class of 2020. You have met the requirements that have been established by the State Board of Education and the School Board of Palm Beach County. You may now move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. <laughs> Good friends, they're here to stay. A good day today. Blue skies, the sun won't go away. A good day today. Can't keep the sun. 